Oh, YouTube. Anyway, uh, I found this uh, Super HTA. I know they're probably, it's 300 with uh, H10 on it. So I just wanted to look at a few things to see what they did as far as uh, um, think about doing this to my 460 putting uh, M10 on it though I think the 460 frame is a little wider amp gas tank but I'd have to lengthen the hood out but anyway just looking things over a little bit here see what uh, uh, is all involved Nice job. Yeah. It's old 300. Huh? They're 300s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you can see the yep. front end here. Unless the Super H that had, I don't think the Super H had that casting in the front. Here? Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe not. With the extra holes? Yeah, with, with these know. extra holes here. I don't well, know. I thought they did. Maybe they did. I'll have to go find a Super H yeah, now. Yeah, for a Colabators. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah I got nice. a Super MTA and there's, I'm going to put dual hydraulic on it. Or okay. Hydraulic to the back, not dual. Yeah. Dual up yeah. and down. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's, there wasn't a single one that's the same where the rods no. go or. Isn't that something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just so, crazy. Uh, hosta. Uh, yeah. Do some research. Oh yeah, no, I uh, want to take my four. I want to. I have a 460. And I want to put. Uh, M, I think they're wide. They're wider than the H. The 460. The frame is in front. Uh, I'll have to measure it. But I either have to go with the H or M10. I want to have it, but I'd have to extend the uh, hood at some point. Mm. So I'm not sure how that would work because everything slopes down. Right. Right. You know, I don't know if right. that would work or not. Probably not. Yeah. But, uh, but I think I'll just have to stick with it the way it is. <laughs> well, you at least try it once. <laughs> That's right. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Very always looking at this. Uh, you can see there's differences there at 300. My fi 460 has that uh, fill hole there. And the gear shift on the other side is pretty much the same thing. Um, battery box is like 300, I believe, in the back here. Where the battery was uh, on the H up here. Uh, my battery is up here in the uh, by the gas tank uh, on the 460. But anyway, nice job. Really, really nice job on this tractor. Oh, look at the uh, size of this uh, uh, one inch, I guess, hydraulic line. Definite labor of love. Actually, like the uh, like some people say, they like I, they like the uh, H10 better. It's kind of cool. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. You've seen these on uh, YouTube before, so, bye. Well, YouTube, uh, ran into this couple over by, uh, in the, one of the other buildings at the uh, farm show, and, and they said they had a, uh, a 100 farm all here, and so I'm uh, taking a short little video of it. And uh, here we go, it's, uh, it's got a tumble bug on the back end of it. Anybody that watches uh, Squatch 253 know what it, knows what a tumble bug is, but uh, this is pretty cool. We had something like this at home, but it wasn't uh, for it. This is a one-point hitch, fast hitch. So, pretty cool tractor. Nice 100 farm mill. I think this uh, took over for the A, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, correct me. 1950 IH Metro, uh, cool panel truck. Let's see if we read it, get up here a little closer. 
International Metro was built from 38 to 75. The body was designed by Raymond Louis. Wow. He uh, also designed the letter style, uh, letter series farm halls. Bridgeport, Connecticut. Cool. Yeah, I want this to be a find. And I'll put that back up there again. Just pause it if you want. Here's some old international trucks. Uh, 1210, it says on your custom crew cab. Uh, call it the IHC 1210 Travelette 72 model. There's another one right next to it there. I'm going to pause and get around to the next one here. So, anyway, here's the next one. It's pretty cool. I'll uh, pull up here and read this. Go ahead and pause this if you want at this point. I'll move on. The fire truck. All wheel drive. Travel all. That's nice. Got the wallpaper on the side there. Everything. Minden, Nebraska. Another one. A 100. Eight. Don't remember what the size engines were in these things. 345 maybe. Uh, here's a. Uh, Here's an older one, looks like it's got a Cummins uh, BT in it, uh, the 3.9, I think. Yeah, it looks like a four-cylinder in there. That's pretty cool. There's a 29 six-speed special. Six-speed, that's pretty amazing. International. Beautiful truck. Some newer ones. Just cab over. CO9670. There's a beautiful looking truck. R200. See what it is. Yep, it's got a kind of a cool cab there. It looks like a cup, club, cup cab. Club cab? Club cab. D120 flat box. Nice. Here's a uh, 57 International S100. This one's got a 6.2 turbo diesel, which I'm guessing is a, a GM diesel. 700 R4. Look at that. Look inside of the motor here. Yep. That's what it is. Nice job. Fun. Not a touch. Don't blame them. Automatic, tilt wheel, yeah, beautiful. Yeah.
There's a 1210 pickup. Uh, 71 model with flatbed. There's a uh, 52L120. Not sure if they have a hood for it or not. Maybe sitting in the back. Looks like a turbocharger on here, so gotta look and see what's in here. Looks like an international motor to me, so maybe that is stock. What a deal. Doesn't say much more about it. Here's a beauty. There's a 65900 Custom, beautiful truck. Not exactly sure what this is. It's an international, obviously. Here's a Scout, 65 Scout. Wife wants one of these. If anybody's got one of these and is watching and wants to sell it, let me know. International 100. There's a 1110. Nice looking four wheel drive pickup. Very nice. And back to the panel. Yeah. Don't look at all these tractors. You can walk. You can walk around. You're not one of those green guys. I just, I just buy it. <laughs> I thought they checked it. Isn't there a blood test or something? You get the gate there. Well, I wore my red tie. It was great meeting. Yeah, no, I like your videos. There you go.